love playing games, so that's where my passion comes from. Uh, games that make people think, uh, games that are challenging and look at things in a different, completely different way. I'm loving the course, I uh, absolutely love what I'm doing. If I'd gone into uh, a computer science based course, I feel like I would have learned a lot of skills, but computer games programming has taught me both a lot of those skills, but also a lot of stuff very specific to uh, this industry I'm interested in. This is Dissocia, the game that we've just been developing for the last 12 weeks. Uh, it's the final year project, part of that annual dissertation which determines our overall grade. It's a small third person platformer game. You control a character walking through various environments and seeing the worlds that we've created. Dissocia stands for dissociation. Our game was focused on uh, mental disabilities in particular and our slice focused on uh, depicting depression. I think this has really been a culmination of everything that we as a team have worked for and me personally have worked on. As, as the years go on, the workload obviously increases tenfold and it does get more and more challenging. Um, but challenging is not a bad thing at all, it's obviously how you, how you grow as a person, it's how you grow your ability, the way the modules will progress throughout time. We've covered an, uh, an awful lot. The standard of the course is, is, is pretty high. The lecturers have got loads of uh, experience. Obviously, most of them, or if not all of them, have come from the industry. Uh, and the amount of knowledge that they have and that they can give to you and, and the support that they give you. You can go around to any lecturer and ask them as if they're a friend more than an actual lecturer. They make you feel like you're their mate as well as their student which is really good. There's always someone around, even late at night, and they can give you advice on anything, even if it's not in class work, even if it's something you're working on at home or a question you have, you can always ask for advice. It's something that I didn't see much of at the last university I went to, so I'm really glad it's here. The lecturers have just been absolutely amazing um, all the way through, so the support, I just can't knock it, absolutely amazing. I applied for a job uh, at Battalion for environment art uh, and they ended up offering me a position as a junior artist uh, which I thought was amazing considering uh, I'm still an undergraduate, I'm in my second year. Uh, what an amazing opportunity with uh, a company in the industry. And the amount of stuff that I'm going to be able to learn from them, working in the industry, working as a team uh, in the industry, um, outweighs anything that I've done so far. So absolutely, amazingly excited for that year. Getting the placement that I got last year, which was at Sumo Digital, um, has really helped. Uh, they were nice enough to uh, offer me a job as well afterwards. I'm actually working for a VR company making models for VR and AR experiences, so BP, um, BBC and other different clients. It was a good internship, I learned quite a lot. I felt a lot more ready for the world of um, programming, world of work. Once I returned to uni, I felt I'd learned a lot from my year of industry. The best thing about this university uh, is the fact that they have so much contact with industry. So we have people coming in uh, from industry to talk. Uh, not only is that interesting because um, you get like an inside point of view uh, of the industry, uh, it's also inspiring because you'd sit there thinking, well, maybe that can be me standing up there in a few years' time. 